Hi, welcome back to Cold Gear. So today we're going to have a look at the Power Vision Power Reg. The craziest drone that I'm ever going to probably view with a 4K camera. So let's get it out of the box and have a look at it on the bench. Okay, so this is the egg, the Power Reg from Power Vision. Comes in this plastic case, as you can see, and then inside here, we're just going to do this bit first and then we're going to take it out of the case because it's not all going to fit on my desk to show you. And this is what you get in. So you get the egg itself. This is the light up sound which I want to show you in a bit and in here you have all the accessories and the controller etc. So this is the, the case it comes with is fantastic apart from it doesn't have a carry handle anywhere front or back. So let's take it out of the box, put it on the bench and let me go through what's in the box. Okay so we've taken it out of the box and this is what you get. This is the power reg with its light up stand have to plug it into a USB I've never done this before I just did it to show you what you can do with it you get a bag to cover it with really nice bag it says power egg on the front of it you get the charger with a multiple of cables on the end which I'm going to show you why as we go through the unboxing the power cable for the charger you get instruction manuals are in here actually quite a nice little manual Put the bag down this is the bag of accessories which you need obviously let's just turn it off now you feel it light up move it to one side so before I show you the egg I'm going to show you what's in this box so in this box is everything you need to get it in the air what I will say straight away is this thing is of immense quality the finish fit and finish of everything in this drone is amazing this was a 1200 pound drone i bought it brand new for 350 quid because that's what they've dropped down to in america i think 350 dollars in this country you can get them for 350 brand new pounds obviously we don't get as good deal as the americans get so this is what you get so this is your battery and it is huge so you get a 6400 milliamp hour 14.8 4s lipo and as you can see, it's massive. It is a smart battery. So you touch the top as you do on a DJI. And you can see your battery status. All in all, it's huge. It charges by plugging into here with the charger. And it takes a good couple of hours to charge it. You also get the transmitter. I'm going to put it to one side just one second. This is the Power Vision wand, so you can actually fly the drone like this, and you can control the camera, etc., like that. You got take off and land on here. I will actually do a video, believe it or not, flying with this thing because I think it could be quite cool. To make everything work, I believe you've got to have your finger on the trigger at the back there, or to make the gestures work. If you let go of it and do that, nothing will happen. If you press that one in, it will. And this is how you control everything else. So we're going to have a go with this and a little mess around. If you get that. Now I don't know if you buy this from America if you get spare props, but i got no spare props for mine uh, and it doesn't say that I should. You get, this is the cable you need to connect your controller to this and then here you've just got a USB cable. I don't think there's anything else in here. Well, there might be a smaller one of these, yeah, the shorter one of those. Depends how long you need to have it, so we'll use the shorter one actually, because I think we need the long one today. And then you have this, so this is the well, they, they class it as I think of the ground station, but it's actually a very posh Wi-Fi repeater. So you need all the charging plugs because this charges up, this charges up, and all these can be charged simultaneously. And I believe you can charge this one up at the same time as well. Hence why you get all the charges. So let me take this little box out of the way because we don't need that for now. So this is the controller. It weighs a ton. And that is because this is aluminium. This is not cheap plastic, this is aluminium. So all this part here is aluminium. And that's why it's so heavy. It's, as I say, the stick feels absolutely smooth as butter on this. It really is a nice thing. So there are your flight modes on here, which we'll discuss in the flight video when we do that, which won't be today, obviously. And we've got takeoff and land, return to home, and etc, etc. We'll go through all the control 
on there when we do the flight video but you can control your camera up here and your camera settings and you've got record video and pictures it's got a little stand on the back because you do actually need that so this is the repeater itself so you put your foot this can pull down i believe i've never done this because it's have it on its normal setting I just do that normally, put my phone in, but um, let me just see how it pulls down. I've never ever tried. There you go, so you can pull this all the way down. If you have a big tablet. And as you can see, the spring is ridiculously tight. But if you've got a, big tab a bigger tablet, you can pull this part down and have it into there. I just have my phone in this bit here. So we're gonna, I'll show you that in a second as we connect it up. This is also quite heavy. It's not stupidly heavy, but it's heavy enough. Got a power button on the top and you've got your connectors on the side. This slots into this aluminium bracket here. I can remember how to do it. There you go. Hence why it's got the mount on the back and then your phone slots in there so before we have a look at all this let's just have a look at the main event so this is the drill let's just get rid of this we don't need this for the minute in fact we will leave it out so i can show you the arms unfold so as you can see you can put it on an angle it is meant to display it so you can display it at any angle you want it's actually a really nice stand so that's the power button on the on the top of here you've got an open button and in here goes your battery so your battery slips in here and locks into place there as you can see and that becomes your power button so if you're wondering where the arms are they're here as you can see the arms are now up now you're not going to get all this on shot because I'm not moving my camera yet again. So as you can see, we're getting big. It's now a massive unit. Once you've opened your props out, what I love about this, it folds with the props so you can put everything back in its case. I just don't understand why the case I've got the handle. So it's got plenty, as you can see, look at all the cool inventing in there. It's fantastically done. So that's how that goes. Now, before we turn it on, I'm just going to go connect my phone to this. So let's just connect the phone. Let's just push this to one side. So your phone just slots into here, as you would on anything else, really. It is really tight. That isn't coming out. That is not going to fall out of there once it's in. And then you have this cable. So this cable goes from the back of here Oh, you didn't see that it goes from the back of here into the side of this unit there can you see that it goes into there and that's connecting the controller to this so the signal's being sent from your phone to this unit so that's all the distance it's going and then this is going out of here to there and this is for your video and your signal to the drone itself so let's turn it on so we're going to put the button on the back here got an on off switch there to turn this on and we've got a switch here to turn that on the drone itself the base comes off here that just unclips take off your little cover and on the top you've got a power button, so you turn it on first. Double press I believe to turn it on. See the little lights come on. Okay, the camera's set. And then if you press the button on the top three times, one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three. The legs come out, and that's how it sits.
So now we need to connect everything together. So we're going to go into Wi-Fi. Okay, so as you can see, it's now connected. So this is the screen you get. So let me just show you a couple of things quickly. I hope you can see the gimbal from there. So you can control the gimbal rotation from the control. So this one, so I can go up and down. I hope you can see the gimbal moving there at the bottom. So if you can see the gimbal moving there. And then I can go side to side. I can't go 360, I can go about 300 I think it is. Maybe 270. It's probably 300 degrees. But it's a lovely feature that you can do that. Now when you take off and you hit altitude, these legs come up obviously, otherwise you're going to have them in your shot all the time. So you don't get your legs in the shot. Which I think it's about, I don't know, five, six feet. It doesn't take much before they lift up. So let's have a quick look at the app. Now the app is quite basic to be honest. So let me just show you the app. Here we go. So this is the app. So you've got your map on there. You've got take off and land. This is your flight mode. So you've got orbit, selfie. Hope you can see that. Follow me. Custom, aircraft and user. Now I don't normally go through there. But with this drone and moving forward with the other drones. That's now what I'll be doing. Because I'm going to spend more time on camera drones. So we'll be going through all them. Even though I don't particularly like them. But we're going to go through all them. And you've got selfie you got safe zone, sorry. So if you have safe zone, it will, a bit like the, um, I think it was, I can't remember, is it Blade one? The Blade old, Blade quadcopter has this safe zone, so it wouldn't come too close to you. It can be a bit of a pain in the backside, to be honest. And then on here, you've also, on your front of your controller, you can change your modes. GPS signal, the remote control is weak and unable to switch to easy mode. So... Easy mode is the one that puts it into the into that mode and then P is photography mode like you'd have on a normal DJI drone. Up here you can adjust your flight settings. So you've got joystick mode like I fly mode one. So this one is in mode one as you see. Sorry about that. So you've got that, you can adjust quite a lot of stuff actually, your link sensitivity, this shows you your battery your voltage, your temperature, your capacity, how many times it's been cycled, this one's been cycled once, your gimbal mode, you can go into gimbal mode, follow mode or FPV, so if you want to fight in FPV mode you can flick that, so it'll kind of lock it, and then you've got fine tune axis of gimbal, so we can adjust the gimbal, so if you've got a bit of um, a bit of roll on your gimbal you can adjust that out here. You've got no fly zone restriction on or off. So if you turn it off, I can turn it off and fly wherever I want. For you guys that hate DJI because of that, you can do that. And in here I've got your parameter set. I can set metric, imperial, voice broadcasting, etc, etc. And on here, then I've got my flight controller settings. So I've got my landing threshold, my set altitude, for your flight, for when it's returning to home. There's a lot of things you can do with it, but compared to a DJI app and some of the more modern stuff, it's quite limited. On your camera settings, you have video resolution, and you can see 16 by 9, 4K 30. If I click on that, I've got 16 by 9, 1080, 120p. So there is no 2.7 on this drone. Unless there is a software update, a firmware update, I've not done one. But you've got 4K or 1080, you've got 1080, 120, 1080, 60, etc. But no 2.7K. Unless I'm, if, some, if I'm mistaken, please tell me in the comments down below. And then I can obviously change this from video to photo. So let me tell you a couple of things about this drone. This is not a drone you want to buy if you want to get up in the air quickly because that's not going to happen. You've seen how long it's took me to set this up and admittedly I've been showing you on the video and I made a bit of a mistake when I tried to put the password in what I didn't need. But it's took a while. In the field it probably takes about 6-7 minutes to get yourself ready to fly whereas with my Spark or something like that I can be up, and, up in a minute. So that's what you've got to get back for. So we're just going to have a quick pause because my battery's going flat. 
Something about that doesn't change the battery. So yeah, like I said, this is not the kind of drone you want if you want to get up in the air quick. This is something a little bit different. Is it a bit of a novelty factor? Yeah. Is it good? I think the finish and fit of this thing is probably the best I've ever seen on a drone. It does have, let me just show you this. It has lights underneath, red and green. The green lights that are flashing tell you your status for flying. It's very, very heavy. It's the heaviest drone I've got by some distance. And it's flight times are probably 20 odd minutes. So we'll see more of that when I do the flight video that'll be coming up. Well, I don't know how long because I need to get it a nice day to fly this again now. So to get the video footage up for you. So I like it. I think it's a bit gimmicky. I blame Brian at True Drone Reviews for me buying this because he had one and then I wanted one because he had one. I saw it fly and I thought that could be a bit different. So thanks Brian for that. Don't know if it's a thank or not actually. And the 350 quid. But the, so you probably know that I sell a lot of the drones I buy so I don't keep any of the toy grade stuff. It all goes, I give, give, give it away, I sell it. But the camera drones I do keep and this is one thing I'll be keeping because I'm going to spend a fair bit of time getting used to this. Seeing how good I can get the video footage to be and compare it to some other stuff. But for 350 quid we have 3 axis gimbal and it has got, sorry I should have showed you, underneath and we can see that it has got optical flow and it's got sonar underneath. It doesn't have any collision detection and the other thing you need to be aware of this is you don't know where the front is. So. You're relying fairly much on your screen showing you where you are or having a really good memory of how you're flying. If you fly it around normally, you're probably going to be absolutely fine because you just fly, I don't know if people are like me, I fly and I don't even think about it anymore, I just fly it around and that's fine. But if you're up in the air and you've had it paused for a few seconds or you want to do some filming, you need this to show you where you are. It does have return to home obviously. So, a long video, it's going to be because of what it is. And I wanted to get a little bit in depth with it in the next video, probably the flight video is going to be long as well, but I'll just do a flight video next which will be a simple, I'll film it so you can see it in the air and I'll obviously main focus on how good this camera. I'll film in a couple of different modes and then we'll probably do another video showing the different settings on it and then I might do some other videos of it moving forward of taking it to different locations and flying it and then I'll probably do a comparison video with this against something else in its kind of price bracket to see how good it looks. Remember this is the two year old drone now so you're not comparing eggs with eggs, we're not comparing, this is not 2019 drone so you can't really compare eggs with eggs but let's see what it's like for 350 quid, it's a novelty value, yes is it different massively than anything else, oh and it comes with an SD card another bonus and one that actually works so that's it, this is the drone, this is what you get for your money I hope this video has been I showed you enough of it to see how good it looks or what it's going to be like and obviously the flight video is going to be the main thing so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up